right, so we've configured everything with the T-Rex. Uh, we've checked the routing inside the network. Uh, moment of truth, let's see if it works. So let's go to T-Rex core, go to scripts where we're gonna run it. The scripts that we're running um, is this one here. It's T-Rex64. We have to do some command line options. Um, so first thing is we need to specify what config file we're using. So we're going to use branch one to dc.yaml. From a file perspective, we're going to point it at the cap2 directory for the dr1 to dc.yaml file. Uh, that's the one with the emulated servers, uh, clients, and the cap files we're going to replay. Going to do duration, say 30 seconds to start, uh, multiplier one, um, and all of these uh, command line uh, options are in the um, documentation by the way let me go ahead and very as a very quick aside point you at the documentation for where this is if I can get uh, Firefox to open here okay. so just in case you're wondering where all these uh, dashes and everything are coming from if we go to the documentation um, and just go to T-Rex manual where we want to go. So all the way at the bottom is the command line options and you can read them all right here. Okay, So you can read them all but I'm going to just throw them out here. So duration 30, multiplier 1, we're not going to multiply the amount of traffic that we're sending. We're going to dedicate a single thread to this and we're going to do ramp up of say 5 seconds and then lastly uh, we're going to cut everything off cleanly when the test duration is over. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we can push some traffic. Oh, wow, that is a lot of error. All right, let's take a look at this. While parsing a block mapping in our Etsy bridge one to DC YAML file, we expected a block end, but we found a block mapping start. Um, this is a mistake. And I included this mistake because it's extremely easy to do. So let's take a look at our Etsy uh, BR1, or let's do nano, our Etsy BR1 to DC YAML file and see if we made a mistake. And we did. So YAML is very uh, picky about its indentation. So notice that up here in the file, we have version two. It's expecting everything to be in line here, but it's not. You see, when we commented out interfaces, I went in and I put an extra space here to make that in line when it really needed to be in line with this. So we will fix that um, by fixing the spacing. I know I mentioned before that YAML really hates tabs. It also really hates improper indentation. So this is something that's very easy to happen to you. Uh, you'll get traced back like that and usually ends up being something wrong with the uh, formatting of the YAML file. So let's go ahead and save this and let's try this again and see what happens. We'll run it for 30 seconds hopefully this time. Okay, this is what we expect to see. It's loading the cap files and you can see that our source and destination uh, client and server interfaces are chugging through some packets here. We're sending, you know, we're ramping up to X number of megabits per second, send and receive. And when this test is done in 10 seconds, it's gonna give us a, just the details of how the test went, basically. You can see the CP utilization and how, how much uh, traffic we're chunking out. And it should second end here. And we'll get just a report saying how it went. Okay, that's great. Um, now this, assuming this worked, uh, and it worked, I know that it worked at least through the network because we got uh, sent traffic and we received it on the other side, so I know it went through the network. Um, if you were to see sent traffic and then the other side wasn't incrementing, that would indicate a routing problem, meaning that the packets aren't making it to the other side of the T-Rex, to that other interface. Um, so that would indicate something wrong with the network itself. So let's take a look. Um, let's see, go down here. And I believe my workstation is working. 
I have a second Linux box, as I mentioned, was a root CA server and also as my vManage workstation. Let's see, here we go, our, here's our vManage. Uh, now it probably will take some time before uh, we start getting applications showing up in our vManage. But when it does eventually happen, um, they should show up down here where it says no data display. We should start seeing top applications and uh, we should start seeing some application aware routing happening. Or uh, rather, the app aware routing um, is just a, it's an SLA measurement, but we should start seeing our applications show up in the list here. Now that can take about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. It, it takes a little bit of time for that to end up showing up in the vManage. And we might need to turn on, now that it occurs to me, I am not sure that I turned on an app aware policy. Or not just an app aware policy, but specifically, I'm not sure that I turned on an application recognition policy. Um, this is not the policy I need, actually. Uh, we can, in a future video, if people are interested, I can talk about policies. I can talk quite a lot about policies. Um, this is more SD-WAN focused. I wanted to stay focused on the T-Rex, but um, we would create a localized policy here for app recognition. I believe that I do not need to create groups of interest. Um, I'm gonna move forward through this. I'm not creating a QoS map. I'm not creating any ACLs for policies and I'm not creating a route policy. I think all I need to do is check the box for application aware, uh, for application awareness. And I'll just call this DPI policy. And that's just so we can recognize applications. And then I'm gonna save the policy. Okay, and then what I'll probably need to do is go to each device um, template. So say our CSR template here. And again, we can also, I'll also do a video in the future if there's interest uh, around templates, how we build our templates. But right now, let's just apply our DPI policy to our devices. And uh, I think this is what we need to do in order to actually do the app recognition. So I'll need to apply this, and then we'll actually need to rerun the application traffic uh, through the T-Rex in order to start showing up in the vManage. So um, I'm applying that template pushing that change to the CSRs, and then I'll need to do the same thing on the data center side so that the V-Edges can start profiling with its app application uh, awareness policy. So we're just going to let that run. Um, I don't believe that it's going to fail, but if you ever are curious about the job status, you can also check it up here if for some reason you click away from that, from this window as well. Uh, and of course, if you want to see the progress, you can also see the, the progress of the config push here. But again, getting a little bit further into the SD-WAN side, um, I was more interested in talking about the T-Rex in this particular set of uh, demonstrations. But I did want to show the ultimate uh, result of pushing our T-Rex policy, and so I wanted to include this extra piece in case people start you're building their T-Rexes, uh, pushing traffic, and then saying, hey, well, you know, I did all that, and my vManage still isn't showing the applications. So uh, for our D edges, we're going to go ahead and apply our DPI policy as well. Update, and we should push that as, as well. Again, I'm not expecting any errors here. Uh, we're just turning on the application awareness uh, functionality. 
which I probably should have done before I even started recording this series, but this is good because this is something that uh, you'll need to do in your own labs. So here you go. We push that template. Let's leave the vManage behind. Uh, go back to the let's go back to the dashboard, and uh, we can go ahead and minimize our workstation. As you can see, uh, we'll just need to rerun that traffic and then give it some time to show up in the vManage based on the, our uh, traffic profile. So. So let's go ahead and run it again. Again, we, we don't need a huge amount of time. Um, I'm gonna, just going to let it run for say 60 seconds this time. I'll speed this up, and then uh, when the vManage actually shows the applications, I'll, I'll show basically what that looks like at the end. Okay, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so I gave it a few minutes to run, uh, ran some more traffic generation, and now you can see we have a populated dashboard. Let's just take a look at some of the details here. Um, you can see that I think I clicked on a specific one. You see there's a lot of Citrix data, um, but that's, I think I clicked on, I must have clicked on Citrix specifically. You can also filter just by a time frame. So, um, you know, say last three hours, you can search by a particular VPN, and you can see all sorts of details about the applications that you're running. Um, so you can see we're sending Citrix, uh, Web, Exchange. This is all part of that iMix, um, that mix, you know, those PCAPs that we were playing. And uh, that's pretty much it. At this point, uh, since we're sending traffic through the network with T-Rex. Uh, we can build policies based on application aware routing, set SLAs, uh, set preferred and backup colors, and other uh, SD-WAN specific policies around applications. Um, I hope that it's been informative and enjoyable learning how to build a T-Rex, and I hope it helps you with your own demonstrations or labbing. If you have any questions, uh, you can always hit me up, uh, either uh, email me uh, visit from my blog, which is carpe-dmvpn.com, um, or uh, when this is posted to YouTube, just uh, comment below. Thank you.